So here's what I have done uh, since the day 22 through to, uh, day 34. Okay, here's the icon for the app. So let me start start it up. Oops. Okay, splash screen and splash sound and a menu and text play. And it's a new activity I created and what it does is what if I type in write and this is turned turns into a password kind of thing so uh, this is a toggle button when it's off it shows the uh, the text when it's on the password uh, protection is on so you can't see so I'm gonna show I'm gonna turn it off so that you can actually see what I'm typing and write if I type in write and try command if I press this button okay watch here the text is going to change into right and go to the right you know if I type in the certain text like right left center and also what the fuck thing oh uh, where is the fridge let me type left oh it's gonna be the lower case again Java is case sensitive that's uh, what I learned one of the things I learned so if I type in if I use uppercase then it does not, it's not gonna recognize as the same thing okay Let's see goes to the left and it says left and um, let me try center center and it's gonna move to the center and it says center here so it does two things you know change the text here and moves the orientation layered orientation guess then what the fuck if I type that in actually it doesn't have to be this like that uh, what I mean where is the fridge okay and when there is W uh, T F in a text this is what's gonna happen where is the fridge and then if I keep pressing you know I use the random function a method to you know randomize certain things it's randomly you know changing the size and locations I mean orientation lay layered orientation also cutter randomly changing the cutter font uh, takes cutter as well so that's the new thing I added to my app and uh, text play the Java is a new class file I created and you see under source right here text play Java so I have one two three four different activities now created class class classes created and what you just saw is all defined mostly programmed in text play Java class file and these are all the uh, support libraries I imported and I started with kind of messy coding but uh, day 34 it was cleaned up really neatly so it's really clean and organized structured in a more efficient way and I, I'm using one two three four different class types object types it's button and I'm using these names button toggle toggle button is another you know set of class edit text is also you know predefined uh, class and text view so I'm using one two three four all of these four and I pl place it in a global area so that the, these variables display input pass tag and check command all these four variables can be used in a different methods under 
I'm using multiple methods here and so that all these methods can use these you know uh, variables that's the reason why I didn't place these variables inside the method because if I place them inside a method these variables can be accessible uh, only within the method and accessing those methods from a different method is going to be very difficult so and uh, because these are declared in, in, in global up here I no longer need to declare the, the class type object type before the variable anymore because these are all declared and Java understands it now so all, all I need is just a variable names to you know to bring it in and uh, this is not the part of the support library this is my made up method it's called bacon and eggs and method and this method does these things so check method is a button activity and action and pass tag is a, a toggle, toggle button thing and this is what it does basically if, uh, it's bringing in looking for the view and looking for you know all these things I define some elsewhere and uh, on click upon on click it's it's gonna do all these things and it's gonna do um, if else checking as you can see basically what it's doing is you know uh, defined uh, using the display this display variable is a you know text box as you can see here text view uh, class and this object is gonna be used you know text view is gonna be you know you I'm gonna I'm doing a lot of things like a set text set text cutter and yeah, set gravity set uh, what else take size set text so I'm doing all these things too these are all methods predefined methods in the support library associated with uh, you know text view and I'm doing using all these method or actions you know to and using them and applying them to the display variable and uh, for example this one is doing is a uh, you know setting the gravity to center and uh, setting the gravity to right setting the color text color to blue and first what it's doing is in a in if statement I'm checking content if the content equals to blue or not and if the display content equals to blue I'm setting the text color to blue and all that is started making sense to me and uh, displaying things so and or else it's gonna just say invalid and the uh, location layer orientation in the center and uh, the color text color is black So that's why you know, depending on, especially when I click uh, typed in when when the text box, in other words, uh, display object or you know the yeah text box gets uh, receives an input that contains what what the fridge abbreviation W T F. You know, it's gonna do all these crazy things. You know, check if it contains WTF. So it can be WTFFFF or or it can be ABCD WTF. It doesn't matter as long as there's a string WTF in a text or input text. Then when there is, you know, check contains this is a boolean so if it's gonna be either true or not if it is true then 
this is what's what it's gonna do. Now display this, then uh, take size is gonna be you know ran. Okay, this this is all I actually say here. Random is another thing I learned here, and uh, I'm gonna call it crazy. Variable is gonna be crazy. So random object. I mean class. We're gonna. I'm using a random class. A uh, class called random. Uh, predefined in the support library again, and I'm gonna call it crazy and uh, new random. This is how actually to initiate or uh, activate or uh, instantiate this class and uh, so new random and so now crazy it can be referenced in this script so what it does is it takes a parameter just an integer or you know any number so if you provide number 75 like I did here well it simply gives random things so you know random whatever and uh, how I use it here is for setting text size, you know, because I want to set a text size to, you know, like a, somewhere between one pixel and 75 pixels. So to make it random, I use this random thing called crazy. And this crazy is a name for this random class or random object. So it's the same thing. Crazy is just a name for random function or whatever a class. And random can do all kinds of stuff. Instead of saying random, I have to use a actual name for that, and it's crazy. So random can take, for example, can do this thing uh, next integer. And if you use that, what it does is it next integer takes any integer number. If you type in 75, it's gonna, you know, randomly take any number between 1 and 75. So that's what it's doing. By doing that, every time you click, the number is gonna be different. It can be 1, it can be 75, it can be, it might be 70, 35, 32, 24, 11. It depends, it's random. So text size is going to be different each time you click, and use the same kind, uh, same technique. You know, crazy uh, random uh, function, random class. Again, I reused it, and this time I am going to set the parameter differently, and I'm using the uh, next int again, and using 256 this time. So it's going to be somewhere between one and 256. And the, these are really neat technique because it randomizes the cutter. RGB is a you know how to set how you set the cutter dot RGB. That's how you set the cutters. Cutter is a cutter class, and cutter class can have this kind of parameter or, or action. It's gonna set the a cutter RGB to whatever is inside here and because I didn't use the static numbers I used the you know, uh, this technique to set numbers randomly it's always gonna be three different random numbers here here it's gonna speed out three numbers so it what's gonna what it's gonna speed out is a uh, okay this number can be three numbers uh, starting from zero so zero one or two so if the zero comes out, and this is what it's gonna do. If one comes out, what, that's what it's gonna do. And so that's how it it, it changes the you know uh, layer orientation because it, you know what it's doing is uh, it's gonna run the switch thing and for the for the what the fuck uh, I mean what what the fridge uh, depending on the number it's spitting out, it's going to execute different things if zero comes out then that's what it's gonna do if one comes out this is what's gonna what what's gonna do if two comes out and that's what it's gonna do that's why the the text orientation position change randomly in my app yeah so basically that's what it is